Okay, the question again is, is this a root to this equation over here? In other words, does it satisfy the equation? So what I do is I plug it in. And when I plugged it in, I realized that it's actually equal to minus 15, not zero. So it's not a root, all right, it's that simple. So I want to also claim that you could also do it by long division. So I would say, you know, is if, if minus three is a root, that means x plus three would be a factor. And so what I do, I divide it into the polynomial, and that polynomial again is 9x4 plus 26x cubed minus 8x squared minus 11x minus three. And I get the quotient, I get that quotient over there, and the remainder is minus 15. And again, I want to point out to you, this minus 15 is the same thing as this up over here, all right? And that's an important fact. That's often what we use to determine if we get a root, if we get a zero, the re I'm sorry, if we get a zero, its remainder would be zero, all right? So it really evaluates to what, we, um, what we're thinking the root is, all right? A zero would be indicate a root. Minus 15 is what the function would evaluate to. All right, I think we're done. And I realize I should probably make one other note. And what I mean by over here, if you have a polynomial f of x, and you divide it by x minus a, you're going to get a quotient. I'm gonna call it q of x plus some remainder, and I'll call it a function of x, although it's a number in this case over here. Divide by x minus a, all right? If you multiply both sides by x minus a, what do you get? You get f of x equals q of x times x minus a, and that would equal, I'm sorry, not equal, but plus r of x then, all right? If I write down f of a, what do you get? q of a times a minus a plus r of a, all right? So what is f of a equal to? The remainder. And that's all we're saying over here. What remainders do we want? We want zero remainders. So going back to this example over here, I want to tell you what the f of x is. The f of x is 9x4 plus 26x cubed minus 8x squared plus, I'm sorry, not plus, but minus, minus 11x minus 3. It's even hard to write down. So the bottom line is, you know, f of minus 3 is just the remainder. When you divide it, when you divide f of x by x minus 3. And that's all we did over here. I'm sorry, x plus 3 in this case. Sorry about that. I made a mistake there. Sorry about that. It's f minus 3. It's the remainder. It's all it is. All right? That's all it is. That's an important fact, by the way. All right? Um, yeah, we got it. Thank you.